Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with a purchase video from the baseball card shop in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. So I've shown videos before from them, but uh, I'm going to show a bunch of videos in the upcoming weeks, mostly in the upcoming weeks of different stores and flea market purchases that I've made that I just haven't gotten their videos published yet because I've been so focused on posting my in-person autograph recaps and TTMs and everything. So I wanted to go ahead and just start making and posting those videos of all these pickups I got from stores and flea markets because I want to give them some shouts too because there are good deals to be had at certain places for certain things. So this was the baseball card shop in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. And when you go there the first time, it might smell just a little bit like cigarette smoke in there, but it is so much better than what it was. The guy Jim has done a great job. My buddy Brian R. introduced me to that place a long time ago. So um, everything, the cards are 50% off. The, the, Turns out these top loaders were 50% off, so I had to buy those, too, while I was there. And um, if you go on Saturdays, you walk in, they'll, they'll hook you up with a free baseball card. So, yeah, here we go. So I walked in, uh, I pulled number 76, and that meant I got this Juan Soto 2019 National Card Trading Day. So it's a free card. Can't complain about that. So these were all 50% off, and it's, like, literally at like $20. <laughs> you know, right around there, so I just paid 10 bucks. At least I think that's what it was. Heck, I can't remember anymore. So we got Greg Luzinski, whom... Eh. Oh, geez, I'm really starting this one off awesome. Yeah, this was one of those cards where I'm like, really? Well, I have a friend who's a big Milwaukee Brewer fan, so... Pretty much just going to give this to him and kind of make fun of it a little bit. <laughs> Cute doggy, though. All right, it's getting better now. Yaxel Rios, I don't have any trading cards of him, but he is a Pirates pitcher. So now I got a trading card for him. There's a TTM hero, Pat Neshek. I think I picked up a couple cards of him. I could be wrong. Richie Hebner, former Pirates, really good at TTMing as well. Derek Holland, we'll see what happens with him this season. Saw some returns coming back from Joe Buck. I saw that. I mean, it was like a couple year waitings, but you know, uh, that'll probably get sent out. Katie Kulik, who was a uh, you know ladies bowler, pretty good bowler. Uh huh. All right, I picked up the JT Riddle. I picked up a couple, I believe. So now I got JT Riddle cards. And the Blue Jays, I, I think I already have at least one of these, but now I got another one. Jared Dyson, I needed cards of him. And there's JT Riddle again. So, you know, this might be a 40 cent card. Who knows? But anyway, I paid 20 cents for it, which is better than what I'm going to get on eBay for any cards, really. Unless I bought a giant lot and then got cards I didn't want. All right, yep, picked up a couple of Dale Murphys. I'm sure Project 80, 88 T10 that you have, but nevertheless, there is one coming your way. Got that nice looking, oh shoot, I don't remember what year that was. Hmm, 85, I'm guessing. Maybe 84. 84 seems about right. I think 85 had like a banner thing. I don't know. All right, there's another Dale Murphy for you. There's a second Jared Dyson. Milwaukee Brewer team card. All right, Bill Verdon's awesome at TTMing. Just thought that was a really cool looking Bill Madlock card. I love that black and white look. Upper Deck made quite a few of these. Speaking of it, there's another one. There's Elroy Face, who's really good about TTMing. And so is Frank Thomas, $5 donation per card. Usually sends you a card back. He seems very appreciative, writes a nice note and everything. That's the original Frank Thomas. Yeah, a nickel for a Mike Eisler card, sure thing. Uh, Don Robinson, he's a good TTMer. Chad Cool, I have one Chad Cool card left, so now I have two. Well, Landemar said, that's a really pretty card. I like that SP look with that blue right there. That'd look awesome with a blue Sharpie on it. Rennie Stennett, Mr. 7 for 7. Yeah, it looks like we got ourselves a rookie, a pre-rookie of Tim Wakefield. Yeah, I know. Some of these cards really aren't that exciting. <laughs> I realize that. <laughs> I mean, I have a stack of cards here that's like $20, you know. <laughs> so how exciting is it really? But, uh, yeah. So I paid like $10 for all these. So that was a $0.75 cent pre-rookie of Tim Wakefield. Just a really pretty-looking Justin Wilson rookie. He definitely has moments with the Pirates. They're in that amazing 2013 season. There's Josh Harrison. Speaking of amazing moments during that magical 2013 season. 
I, mean, I know Kutch was the MVP and Alvarez was a home run champ for the National League, but this guy sparked it. There's an error, Don Robinson. Seven and a half cents. Yeah, that's getting TTM'd. Oh, look, I found there, Dale Murphy. Never saw this Clint Hurdle card. Too bad he's not around to get signed anymore. I mean, it's a number at a low number. I mean, it's number 11 out of 2003. Pretty close to his jersey number, actually. And then I picked up eight of these cards of Jerry Burns. These four, which were his pro set rookie. And then these four of the 1990 pro set. So, um, from what I understand, he TTMs. And a friend of mine who does TTM contacted me. I'm sure he is watching this video. And uh, thanks for the tip. I finally got some cards of this guy. So I'm going to send out one of each along with an autograph card, generic football autograph card. I'll give a couple of these to my buddy Brian if he wants to start TTM. If not, I'll just send them out, spread them out a little bit because apparently he really enjoys the TTMing. So I mean, if he enjoys it, I mean, there's no real monetary value, but if he's enjoying it and I enjoy getting autographs, I think that's a win-win. So that'll be my plan. So that was like $10 worth of cards there. And then when I realized these top loaders were 50% off, so for essentially a buck fifty each, heck yeah. <laughs> so that was a nice, nice little video. So that was the baseball card shop in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. He has a lot of wax. I mean, just kind of random wax, like not just current wax, but he has a lot of the older years too. So, um, you know, if you're around that area and just want to hit up and check it out, he's got teams organized, you know, with you know, different cards by teams. Not really showcase level stuff, but that's all right. Not everyone, you know, every place has got their thing. So yeah, my plans for the upcoming videos for the next couple months, I realize some in-person autographs will happen, the bi-monthly TTM stuff will happen, but I have a lot of flea markets and trading cards and card show videos that I want to start showing because I've been kind of putting them on the back burner here. So if you, let me know in the Comment section what you think. I appreciate it if you like my video and subscribe to my channel. I upload once every weekend, sometimes middle of the week, just like this one. Take care, everybody.